you see those guys over there? And we're walking. And he says, you see those guys over there? And I'm like, yes, who? He's like, those boys over there. And I'm like, yeah. He's like the militants. Cambridge University, the Congress leader Rahul Gandhi दावा किया है कि वो भारत जोड़ो यात्रा के दौरान कश्मीर में अस्पृत पसंदों के आमने सामने आए थे गांधी ने कहा कि कश्मीर में सरकारी फोर्सेस ने इनसे कहा कि वो खिते में ना चले क्योंकि वहां हम लोग का खदशा है तो हम कांग्रेस एमपी ने यात्रा जारी रखने का इंतजाम किया सो वी आर गोइंग थ्रू ऑल द स्टेट्स एंड एंड कश्मीर इज अ स्टेट व्हिच इज इंसर्जेंसी प्रो राइट देयर इज देयर इज लॉट ऑफ वायलेंस देयर हैज बीन क्वाइट अ लॉट ऑफ वायलेंस फॉर मेनी इयर्स इनफैक्ट दैट पिक्चर देयर इज मी पुटिंग फ्लावर्स on uh, the spot where almost 40 soldiers were killed by a car bomb some years back uh, so we go to we we arrive in kashmir and kashmir is this so called violent place and as i am as i am entering kashmir the security guys come to me and say listen we need to talk to you so what do you need to say and they say well look the thing is you can't walk in kashmir i want to walk i mean you know if we get hand grenades we get hand grenades so they're like yeah we should all walk and so we decide we're going to walk and we we start to walk and suddenly what starts to happen is these indian flags start coming everywhere right? everywhere they just start coming out right? um the first day we we're told about 2000 people are going to show up and 40000 people show up and and it's collapse Right, because they just can't they can't manage they can't manage the crowd and if you look if you look carefully you see the panic on the security people's faces uh anyway they they pull us out of that and say this just doesn't work we can't we can't go through this in this manner and then they the next day they they set it up properly and then we we go through so we've been told we're going to be killed we're walking and people are coming and then one guy looks at me and he says call me So I'm like, come. And the security people said, "Listen, please don't do this. Please don't call people. Like we walk here, don't call people because this is this is putting everybody at risk." So the guy says, "Call me." I say, "Come." So he comes. He comes, starts walking next to me, and he says, "Mr. Gandhi, you've come here to listen to us." So I'm like, "Yes." So he's like, "That's interesting." He's like, uh, "You really come here to listen to us?" And I'm like, "Yes." So he's like, oh. and then he says. Uh, You see those guys over there? And we're walking. And he says, "You see those guys over there?" And I'm like, "Yes, who?" He's like, "Those boys over there." And I'm like, "Yeah." He's like the militants. Right? Now, militants should normally kill me. In 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 that environment, militants should kill me. And he says, "They're there." And they're looking at you. So I look at them and they give me this sort of I'm serious. They they give me this sort of look, and I'm like, okay, I'm now in trouble, right? Because this guy's just told me this. They give me this look, and I give them this look back, and then we carry on. Nothing happens, right? And and why I'm telling you this is because they actually couldn't do anything. They actually didn't have the power to do anything, even if they wanted to, because I had come into that environment listening. and i'd come into that environment completely with no violence in me at all